Box plots are graphical displays of the five number summary. So they describe the minimum, quartile one, median, quartile three, and maximum. They also show outliers. So let's find that information on these two box plots. The minimum is this tail on the left. So for Los Angeles, it's right here. And for Kahului, it's up here. It represents the lowest observation observed. So in this case, the lowest mean relative humidity percentage. So technically, these little tails are called the whiskers. But these are the boxes. And the left end of the box is called quartile one. And what quartile one does is it separates the lowest 25% of observations from the rest of the observations. This line in the middle is the median. And it's not always bold, but in this case it is. The median divides the lower 50% of observations from the upper 50% of observations. And the last piece of our box on the right is quartile 3. Now quartile 1 divided the lower 25% of observations from the rest of the data. Quartile 3 divides the upper 25% of observations from the rest of the data. And then here we have our maximum for Los Angeles. Now on Kahului, we have what appears to be our maximum, and then we have these two little dots right here. These are outliers. So what this upper right end of the whisker represents is highest mean relative humidity percentage observed that was not an outlier. So it's not the maximum, but it's our maximum non-unusual observation. When it asks for which city has the lowest mean relative humidity, they're actually not asking for which has a lower mean of the data set. Each day they find the mean relative humidity and then they record that value. So each of these cities has 50 mean relative humidity percentages recorded. So we're actually just looking for the minimum of the data set, which in this case is Los Angeles. Notice the Kahului box plot is really condensed. That means it varies less, it's more consistent. The Los Angeles humidity varies quite a bit. That's shown by the much larger width of the box plot. So we would expect Kahului to be easier to predict. After all, if you just predicted the median for each of these cities, with Kahului, on the low end you could be off by this much, or on the upper end maybe off by one of these outliers. With Los Angeles, on the low end you could be off by quite a bit, where on the upper end you could be off by maybe a tie with Kahului. So we say the Kahului mean relative humidity varies much less than that of Los Angeles, Kahului's more consistent mean relative humidity should make predictions more dependable than the more variable Los Angeles humidity. When it comes to the complaint, I see arguments that both validate it and others that refute it. So here's some of the arguments I came up with, and I think the AP exam would be fine with either as long as you could support it. So my first argument to validate the complaint was that more than 25% of the days in Los Angeles had lower humidity levels than any of the days in Kahului. Down here is the lower 25% mean relative humidity days in Los Angeles, and all of them are lower than Kahului. That points to Los Angeles having a lower relative humidity. Also, the humidity is more consistent in Kahului, and it's consistently high where Los Angeles occasionally has some very low humidity days. So that would be an argument that Kahului has high humidity pretty much all the time. But there's some things here that refute the complaint. First, the medians are really close. These are the medians shown in the two box plots as this bold middle line. What the median says is that half of the days in both cities have humidity levels of higher than, looks like about 68%. So that would point to the conclusion that both cities have kind of equally high humidity. Finally, the highest 25% of humid days in Los Angeles are higher than nearly all the humidity levels in Kahului. So this is the upper 25% of humidity levels in Los Angeles, and they all pretty much beat this maximum. But that's only when you exclude these two outliers. And when we're only talking about 50 days, I don't know if we should exclude the outliers. In a larger data set, they might appear more times. So which way should you answer? That's up to you. Just make sure you can support it. If you liked this video and want to learn more about box plots, check out either of these videos.